a presentation on hemoglobin by Mitchell Blaha and Sean Dahlberg. Eric is a six-month-old boy. His parents were unaware of any prominent health complications that he could be susceptible to, but they began to notice some slight swelling in his hands and feet. Also, they noticed that he was abnormally fussy and discovered that the skin under his armpit was a faint yellow color. Eric's parents were unsure of what this could mean because they were first-time parents, so they simply took it as part of the growing process. The point at which they decided there, were, there could be something seriously wrong with their son and that they should schedule an appointment with their doctor was when they started to notice that he was having problems with his vision. What could be wrong with Eric? Eric has sickle cell disease. The root cause of sickle cell disease is a mutation in the HBB gene. Hemoglobin contains four protein subunits called heme. More specifically, two of them are considered alpha globin and the other two are considered beta globin. Different mutations of the HBB gene can occur, resulting in multiple types of beta globin. People that have sickle cell disease have one of the two beta globin sub subunits replaced by, the heme by hemoglobin S and the other can be replaced by numerous other variations with a beta-globin subunit, resulting in different strains of sickle cell disease. Rod-like structures of hemoglobin that aggregate after unloading oxygen is what forces red blood cells to take the sickled shape. Cells shaped like this will die prematurely, which could cause anemia. These sickle-shaped red blood cells can also get stuck in small blood vessels causing for deprivation of blood and oxygen to certain areas of the body. Now to talk about diagnosis. There are many tests that can be run to find out if you have sickle cell disease. First, the disease can be found in unborn babies by sampling the fluids found around the baby in the mother's womb, known as amniotic fluid. The disease will usually be found in a baby whose parents both have the sickle cell disease. While growing up, Doctors use blood tests to check for the defective form of hemoglobin, known as hemoglobin S. Although this test is mainly used as a routine for newborn, for newborn screening, children and adults can take the test too. In adults, blood is drawn from a vein in the arm, and in children, the heel or the finger, as seen as in the picture above. After the blood is drawn, it is sent to a laboratory to further be tested for hemoglobin S. If the results come back negative, the individual does not have the sickle gene present. If the tests come back positive, the test will be run further to see if one or two sickle cell genes are present. Although there is no widely available cure, numerous treatments exist, such as taking medications to relieve pain while stopping complications and to receive blood transfusions. The most prominent treatment is bone marrow transplant, also known as stem cell transplant. The treatment is usually reserved for those age 16 and under because the risks increase for those who are older than 16. Finding the right donor is a very difficult process and the procedure itself has many serious risks associated with it, the worst being death. As a result of, as a result of these risks, treatment is usually aimed at avoiding crisis, stopping complications, and relieving symptoms the carrier has. According to the Center of disease control and prevention, children under the age of two should make frequent trips to the doctor and those older than the age of two should plan on making a trip at least once a year. Thank you.